So here, we're at uh, Derek's place and we are going to be cooking trout, or rather special name, uh, let me just get that for you in landscape, rainbow trout. There we go, we have got the fish right there. So first thing is first, we need to get rid of the bones. So I'll just get rid of the bones for now. So now after cutting up the fish or the trout like this, you then need to add your seasonings. So just coming into my cupboard, I'm just saying, okay, well, got some salt. I mean, well, obviously need some salt. Uh, here I've got some turmeric, as you can see. That is actually going to be a slightly uh, sprinkly flavor. Uh, and what I mean by that, it's going to give you this vibrant color and uh, vegetable taste into the fish. So, And a little bit of curry, so that's going to be good. Um, next, I'm going to add some uh, ground cinnamon. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you know what cinnamon is, but anyways, this will go really good with the fish and uh, cake pies, making uh, sauces and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's quite good. Next, I'm going to add in some thymes. This is more, um, depends on the kind of taste you like, but this is more uh, of a warm, earthly, spicy feeling. Uh, it's uh, with a slight hint of uh, mint and pepper. So, got that there. Uh, I'm gonna put in some, some you know, some casual meat uh, mixed herbs here. I'm gonna add in uh, some shivs. I mean, you can't have any fish without this stuff. This stuff is really good. Uh, I also have some basil, but um, as you can tell, it's a, I like it a lot, just because it's almost empty. But uh, it's, a, it's quite sweet, I would say. Sweet, faint. Uh, spicy it's quite good on the fish so let's have a go so first thing i'll do is i'll just uh, sprinkle my uh, salt on both sides of the fish so here we go make sure you get that evenly spread out <laughs> blow off the excess if you need to next i'm gonna add in some uh, cinnamon Yep. So that's enough. I'm gonna add in some turmeric. This is really gonna give it some color flavor. Just like that. I'm gonna put in some mixed herbs, as you can see. Not too much. Just sprinkle it along there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add in some shivs as well. Stuff is really good. Just sprinkle it all over. So your end product should look something along those lines. So this is the flip side of it. Again, I'm just doing exactly what I did before, adding in my target, my salt, my Carmen adding a little bit of basil just to make it a lot more crispy. So that's the good stuff, that's really sweet. So just a little pinch of that is gonna do. Uh, I'll add in some mixed herbs, as you can see. Sprinkle that all over. I know it looks a bit uh, odd, weird, uh, but this is how you're supposed to do it, I guess. How the Muzungus do it, <laughs> anyways. Next, you then uh, preheat your pan, as you can see here. Uh, just turn it up to five degrees and uh, making sure that that's on right there. All right, it's gonna get a little bit smoky, so we should turn on this, just to, you know, let the steam evaporate. Now I'm gonna add uh, some olive oil onto the pan. I'll just uh, place this on here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just adding some more uh, oil. You need to put in quite a bit to fill the pan. 
so that the fish will really get fried there. Uh, we don't want to leave any areas uh, left out. Yep. So as you can see, I've just placed about about one layer of uh, uh, the olive oil. Just let it heat up, and then when we're placing in our rainbow trout, we'll put it in the fleshy side in first, so so that the inside part can really get cooked, and then we'll get the crisp out from the edge. Some people like to add some lemon onto. The thing, you know, just to get rid of the, that silky, oily skin. So, yeah, but I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I'm not too fond of lemon. So, as you can see, I've placed the fish in there. Just let it fry a little bit. Meanwhile, I will be looking for uh, some rice. Rice goes pretty well with this. Uh, different people have different preferences of rice, but... The one I've got here is uh, Morrison's uh, Basmati rice. It's uh, the long grain rice, as you can see. Uh, it's long grain and it's, it's quite good. Yeah, I'll be boiling that in some butter and some oil, uh, just to give it that little edge and a mixture. Uh, from here, I'm going to be pulling out some uh, onions. These are red onions, which go quite well with uh, the fish that we'll be cooking. Uh, let's see, I'm going to get some, uh, some pepper. Pepper is essential for this meal to go really well. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the three kinds of pepper. I've got the red one, uh, as you can see down there. I've got the green and the yellow. This is quite good, actually. So, pepper. I mean, every African meal or most traditional African meals goes with the carrots and the tomatoes. So, here I've just got myself some uh, ordinary uh, salad tomato. As you can see, it's only 69p. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna be good. And good old carrots. Yep, it's carrots. So. That should be good in the mix. Some people like to add what we call here uh, the pickles. Um, I don't know, I, I find it a little bit uh, salty in my case, so, and I have actually added uh, some salt. It, it also says here uh, sour vinegar, but uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really fond of sour vinegar. I've got here my garlic as well, so I'm gonna place my garlic in there. Just give that a couple of minutes, let it fry, let it get heated up. Yep. And here we are with our tomatoes. Seems like I've kind of run out of space here, but you get the whole idea. So we've got our rice, tomatoes, carrots, our pepper, bread onions, our garlic. Uh, that's our olive oil and yeah, just our, our seasonings as you can see. And here, so I'm just gonna give that a couple of minutes, let it uh, sink in. Meanwhile, you could be getting your uh, rice done. So just get you know ordinary pan, heat that up to five. Uh, we're gonna want to add some water into that. <laughs> Forgot about that. So here yeah, we'll just uh, add. Just Roughly maybe two three cups depending on how many people you want to feed. I'm only feeding myself So I'm gonna be just adding one cup of rice as so So there we go Next I'm gonna I'm gonna add in some salt into that water let it heat up So there we go Yeah, just give it a little more, you know I like the taste quite a bit. Now, main ingredients. Obviously, we cannot forget this. This is our pilau rice. It gives it that really nice uh, Indian taste. Right now, I'm beginning to smell the aromas of the, the fish that's coming out. That's really good stuff there. So here, I'm gonna add in some pilau rice. Just 
almost flooded out, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure it, you know, you fill up everything so it's all over the place. Like so. Then we're gonna add in our rice. Just the salt. So I'm cooking for several days actually, maybe today and tomorrow's lunch, but that should be enough. So just get, you know, a spoon or a spatula, something small and uh, just mix it around, you know. Really get that flavor into the rice there, uh, get it really mixed up and uh, yeah. That should be good right there, and I'm just gonna cover that and let it boil away. Good. Let me turn this over and I'll be back on the camera. So as you can see, I've just flipped the fish on. It's really getting this nice crispy look uh, right there, and that's what we were heading for. So I'll just give that a couple of minutes to fry on the flip side. All right. So back into the frying pan. Just letting it get fired there you know flip it out around a couple of times uh, make sure the head really gets cooked you know you don't want to be eating any raw fish having a look here at the rice well that's gonna take uh, a little bit longer to get ready i mean only because i just put it in so we'll just let that settle in there probably a little bit meanwhile if you're like me, uh, you get kind of peckish and just want to, you know, munch on something. So, I've got here some Oreos, so I'll probably munch on that. Uh, what do we have here? we got uh, some original wraps. Uh, that can really go well, actually, with the fish. Uh, but I'm not doing that uh, thing today. Oh, could have an apple. I mean, an apple's always good, it's always healthy, so keep it at that. Well, as you can see here, the rice is just getting a little bit better. Uh, just giving it a couple of stirs here, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't stick or get burnt. Because, uh, I mean, it is at quite a high heat. As you can see, the fish is already done. I've got my piece right there. As you're probably wondering, what would I do with the tomatoes, the onions, the pepper? Well, this is this part right here. So, what I gotta do is just cut the peppers and the onions into so this slim kind of thing here, as you can see. Just bunch them up together with soap, and then just cut them up. So we want to get them into really, really small pieces here, as you can see. Yep, and just, you know, just mix them up like so. Then we get in some garlic, just throw that in there. Not too much, just a little bit will do. Get rid of the skin. It's kind of just like an onion, but I guess it has that little flavor. Cut it in, put it in there. Yep, mix it all up. I mean, it's gonna get into the pan anyway, so might as well mix it up. Get in our tomato, our salad tomatoes there. At this rate, I'm just guessing one tomato is gonna be enough, but. Uh, I mean, I'm only one person anyways, so this should be good. Just be careful you don't cut your fingers. These tomatoes are quite slippery. Uh, just cut them up quickly here. There we go. Yep, so those are all cut up. Now at this point we'll need to be adding uh, our red onions. So there we go. I'm gonna just open that up. Make sure you peel off the skin. It's not really good, so just get rid of that.
So I'll just throw this. Don't really like that. Cut parts of it out. You know, I like to cut the, the onions facing downward so that it doesn't spill up and uh, basically make me cry. <laughs> so let's cut them into four different quadrants like so and then into the smaller pieces, final smaller pieces. Again, just be careful with the fingers. Uh, some people do get the fingers cut off. And, we don't want uh, that going around, do we? Alright, once all that is done, you'll be ready to place it into the pan. So, using the same pan as before, just so that you could have that fish flavor, fish sauce already within there, you place in your, your vegetables. Okay. So, picking up from where we left off, as you can see, I've just placed in all the vegetables into the pan. Just get that frying right for you, right there. You know, um, I like my flavors, so I'm just gonna add in some basil as well. Just to sweeten it up a little bit and just sprinkle just a little bit on it we don't want too much of that I mean the fish is already has a good flavor it's gonna be overpowered just placing that some coloring maybe yeah. adding some turmeric this will go really well with the fish and the best one is shives that's a little sprinkle there. Obviously, we need our salt. This is not sea salt, but some fine sea salt. So the crystals are really small, much, much small. Just throw that in there. Get your prime. Just mix it all around in there. So get a real good feel of that. As you can see, this is really getting there. Fill that in there. The rice looks good. It looks like uh, it's getting ready, as you can see. If I taste that sample right here, uh, let's go ahead and taste this. Mm. It's actually, it's really good. Now, at this stage, as you can see, I just added in the fish mixed it all up in there with the vegetables that we added in earlier here's the head as you can see of the fish and just get it get it all mixed so that we can have that nice uh, vegetable flavor vegetable oil in there right in with the fish uh, yeah and uh, this is what my mother taught me this all, or rather what, what i've seen how to do watching her cook eating her food and this is what i've grown up to like so that's how we do it, so just give that a few more minutes to cook and then we shall start preparing our plates and stuff for the food because the meal looks ready. And then once all that is done, you can begin to start tidying up and the final product will be here. As you can see, I've got my fish there, beautifully rainbowed, in fact I've with the peppers, it really has that really nice crispy color. Got the crisp skin. I've got my rice in here. I've got my vegetables in there. So that is absolutely amazing. And I'm sure it's going to taste really good. Now I'm just going to add myself uh, some juice. Well, I've got two flavors here. Uh, it's almost uh, I think I'll go for that one. So that should be good. You know, some squash and uh, got a pint, pint glass here. So let's take this to the dining table and uh, enjoy. 
So just cleaning up, tightening up. Just get rid of this light. So I'm coming to the dining table and I will be enjoying my lovely fish. There we go. Dinner is served. We've got a movie playing right here. Audio push. There we go. So that is another cooking session 101 by uh, Derek here and I'm going to enjoy this. It's a little bit hot, so. Mm. Fantastic. Let me just get some of this in there. 